a large galaxy cluster collision creates a massive shock wave that spans a million light years. The discoveries, which were made public by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, are assisting astronomers in better understanding the complex processes that occur in collisions between clusters of hundreds of galaxies. The majority of the cluster is made up of an enormous halo of dark matter and a cloud of hot, diffuse gas known as the intra-cluster medium, which envelops the galaxies. Individual galaxies pass past each other harmlessly when two clusters collide, but the gas in the intra-cluster medium has a much more energetic encounter, resulting in massive shock waves. It creates two shock waves in the process, a bow shock at the leading edge, similar to the prow of a boat traveling through water, and an upstream shock behind it. The bow shock has a simple explanation, as the infalling cluster passes through, gas is compressed ahead of it. The upstream shock is a little more complicated, and it occurs when gas that has been stripped from the infalling cluster, a process known as ramp pressure stripping, is left behind and reacts with the in situ gas in the cluster it is passing through. This is exactly what Chandra found, with the bow shock being 55,000 light years broad and the upstream shock measuring roughly 35,000 light years wide. The random velocity of particles in the intra cluster medium is around 290 km per second, 650,000 miles per hour, and those particles can travel up to 50,000 light years before colliding with another particle, according to Chandra. As a result, while Chandra detected some secondary heating from particle collisions, this heating had to have occurred gradually over 200 million years. The discovery that most of the heating in a galaxy cluster collision is caused by collisionless shocks allows for comparisons with phenomena on a far smaller scale, such as those occurring in our own solar system. Scientists may get more understanding into the physics of how shocks in cluster collisions, as well as those in solar and stellar winds, are created by comparing the formation of these collisionless shocks on drastically different scales. Thank you for watching Galaxy News. Please like and subscribe.